Day three of our Hidden Histories brings us into the Findlay Common Room, the hub of much of the social life of the BSA. In this episode, noted historian of classics Christopher Stray tells us more about the man after whom this space was named, George Finlay. Having looked yesterday at the memorial tablets in the main hall of the hostel, we now turn into the Common Room, named after the Philhellene George Finlay. Here his books are housed in their original bookcases, which came to the BSA in 1899 through the offices of one of his heirs, William Henry Cook. High up on top of one bookcase is a bust of Finlay. An inscription in Latin prose and Greek elegiac couplets on the fireplace records Cook's munificent gift. As with the Penrose inscription, the first is informative, the second inspirational. The Latin inscription, unfortunately, gets Cook's name wrong, perhaps with his uncle in mind, he's referred to as George Cook. The standard language of formal public inscriptions in Britain was Latin. Here in Athens, a set of Greek verses is added below. Above the inscription on the mantel is a recent edition, a photograph of Frederick William Hasluck, copied from an image in the BSA archive. In a far corner of the room hangs a war clock, presented in honour of John Linton Myers, the black beard of the Aegean, famous for his raids on the Turkish coast during World War I and for many years in the early 20th century, chairman of the BSA. Its hands have long stood at two minutes past seven, for no other reason than that the clock stopped at that point. <laughs>